Today I thought I would do a side-by-side -side comparison between the two real mowers that I own. The one here on the left that you can see is the American lawn mower 14 inch five blade push reel mower. The one here on the right is a Fisker Stay Sharp reel mower that's 18 inches. And the difference in pricing between the two of these, that one there is $87 and that one over there on the right cost $214 back when I bought these in 2020 online. Which one of these do I like is kind of what I want to go over in this video. The one here on the left, what do I like about it? This one here on the right is clearly over double the price, but this one here runs a not as smoothly or as easily as this one here because this one claims to be able to cut 60% easier than other real mowers but this one here still this one cuts close to comparably especially when it's half the price the one here on the right what I do like better about it is it's got this nice adjustable height and and my neighbors really love their lawns here in town so it's really important that up front we're able to match our heights. See how beautiful and seamless that is. Another nice thing about this one here is you can choose to have the grass fly forward and by lifting this up, the grass will fly backward. Just what your personal preference is. Also, it's a little sturdier. It has a handle so that when you lift it, you're not cutting your hands on these bars on the blades here. And those are really sharp because I didn't pay attention once and I did cut my hand open on that one. This one here is lighter though. I think, yes, much lighter. But this one here, one cool thing about it is it's driven on a chain in through here. That's what drives the belt, or that's what drives the reel. Whereas this one is driven on gears in the wheels, I believe. I think that's how it is anyway. And it's just held on here with these, I don't know what those are called, washers, lock washers or something. But yes, when I mow, I definitely use the Fiskers one. I bought this one because it was what I could afford and then I just bought this one right after that. And it's nice. Yes, I left it out in the sun. Still, even with all this, neither of them cut dandelions very well. So in the springtime, the belt on our riding lawn mower broke. And so it was up to these two mowers to save the day. They both have really nice padded handles right there. And I had to cut the lawn about twice. I found that if you cut at an angle, like a 45 degree angle, you can kind of get it a dandelion on the second pass. But on the first pass going straight at it, not a chance. One on the left, the American, says that it can cut grass that's four inches tall. I don't know, it might be possible, but it takes a lot of energy. And I thought I would cut a section of grass with each one of them and show you what it's like to use them. I know it's not a fair comparison because in order to adjust the height on this, I had taken off the, the roller on the back of it, so this one won't cut as easy. So it's not exactly fair comparison, but I lost the part. But just to give you a general idea, I will show you what it's like to do a section of lawn with a real mower. Still, for either of these, I do have to say that anything with a real mower is good because you're not putting carbon into the environment. I would personally recommend either of these mowers. First up, the American lawn mower.
spindly stocks and neither of the real mowers can do that knock down any of those plants you're gonna need a weed eater or a gas driven mower if you're gonna do something like that I believe or you could cut them by hand this is more of a nice flat ground so we're gonna try it over here and I will show you what it can do As you can see, there stand the dandelions, completely unfazed. I'm gonna show you what I do to get them. Mowed over them once. I'm gonna try my 45 degree angle trick. Let's see if it works here on camera. There we go. Give it a lot of power. Boom. Here's another one. Last one. Didn't work. So I'm gonna go on, I'm going at it. Straight on, let's try a 45 degree angle. Nope. Third time's the charm. So all in all, I think they're both pretty awesome. I think everybody should have a real mower. One thing I would like to remind everybody is safety. Please use steel toe shoes when mowing with a real mower. Like what happened to me just a little bit ago, I hit a bump and I'm lucky that my foot wasn't too close, but you can hit a bump in your yard that you don't see coming. And you're real close to the blades on some of these real mower design so just be careful wear the right proper protection equipment i think both of them are a good buy just for me the one on the right is a better fit for our house and our lawn gas mowers are nice real mowers are nice different tool different use <laughs>